There are many variations of count and sum formula in Excel and today we are going to study all of them. In the last video we spoke about the structure of a formula. Just to revise it you can have a look at it again. Let's start with the count formulas and the first one is count. So what does it do? It actually counts the number of cells with numbers in a range. Now let's say I'm working on this range and I want to see how many cells in this particular range have got numbers. I'll simply put a formula equal to count and then select the range. So you can see that there are right now eight cells in this range that have got numbers. Friends, do not confuse the count formula with count A or count blank. Remember that this formula only gives you cells with numbers. It doesn't give you cells with any arbitrary text put in it. Now if I put some text over here, it will still not count it because it's not a number. But when I put a number here, it's going to count it. Now the next one is count A. It basically counts the number of non-blank cells in a range irrespective of whether the value is actually a text or a number. I will use the same example I used in the count formula to make things clearer. So right now you can see we have the count formula here which is counting the number of cells with numbers in this particular range. Now I'll replace the formula with count A. You can see since the rest of the cells are blank, count A and count will give the same results. But we know that if we have used the count formula and we have put text in those blank cells, the count formula would not have changed the result. But now if I put any text over here, the results are going to change because the formula is now counting the number of non-blank cells. Count blank is actually the inverse of count A because it counts the number of cells that do not have any value in a particular range. So it actually counts the number of blank cells that you have in a particular range. Let's use the same example that we have used while calculating the values of the formula count A. This time we are going to replace the formula of count A with count blank. So as and when you start putting numbers or text or any value in those blank cells, the total count or the total value of the count blank formula will start reducing. We will talk about the conditional count formulas later and let's now talk about the sum formula. In the last video when we talked about the mathematical operators and the structure formula, we did discuss the sum formula. Let's just do a refresher again. So the formula that you use is equal to sum and then select the range. Now let's talk about the conditional count and if formulas which is count if, count if is, sum if and sum if is. Now in order to describe these formulas, I use this table which has got store codes, the location, store name, the parking type and the number of cars that have been parked today. All the formulas that we are going to study have one thing in common which is the presence of the if condition. So the first one would be the count if formula. Count if formula checks for a range whether a particular condition is being met or not and then counts the number of cells or the number of times that condition has actually been met. So actually the formula goes count if, range and then the criteria. Now as an example let's say in this particular table we want to see how many times has the name Walmart appeared. So what we'll do is that we'll simply do equal to count if, the range, comma, here the criteria will be Walmart and then hit enter. So we can see that it has actually appeared 22 times. Next is the count ifs formula and we will use it when we have got multiple conditions. The syntax of this formula goes like this equal to 
count if is the first criteria range comma the first criteria comma the second criteria range and the second criteria and so on let's say in this particular example i want to see walmart stores with basement parking so i'll do an equal to count if is the first criteria range which is this comma Walmart comma the second criteria range which is the column D comma basement close the parenthesis and hit enter so there are actually eight such Walmart stores which have got basement parking friends you can try this with four or five such conditions and see what the results are now we have the sum condition formula the first one being the sum if formula in the sum if formula always remember that there will be one condition range and the other one will be a sum range so the syntax for this formula goes like this equal to sum if the range criteria for the range and then the range that you want to sum as an example let's say we want to calculate how many cars have parked up in Walmart today so we will do equal to sum if the condition range which is the column C comma Walmart comma the sum range which is column E close parenthesis and enter so as for this calculation 1323 cars have parked in Walmart today now friends just to remind you that you will use the sum a formula only if you are summing up something and you have got numbers in one particular column if you got all text and special characters you can use the count if formula now if you got multiple criteria you can use the sum if is formula and the syntax for this formula goes like equal to sum if s the range that you want to sum comma the first range the first criteria the second range the second criteria and so on say now I want to calculate the number of cars that were parked in basements of all Walmarts in California I will use equal to sum if s first of all the sum range comma the first criteria range which is the location comma California comma the second range which is the store name which is Walmart comma the third range which is the parking type comma basement and close parenthesis enter so I can say that today a total of 219 cars were parked all over California in basements of the Walmart stores so friends these were the common count and sum formulas please do practice them and share your views in the comment section